Hello guys, welcome back to yet another special 8 ball pool video. Now today's video is going to be the last part of our gameplay from Moonlight event. It was an amazing event. I used lots of cash, lots of good shots, lots of bad shots. Congratulations goes to my good friend Abu Nura once again for making it to the top. Now let me know by dropping a comment down below how many of you got the ring and are you guys satisfied with the type of awards that you get from 8 ball pool for being in the top 3 or top 10 or top 100 whatever so let me know down in the comment section below so this time we are stuck on the black and somehow we managed to open the black and not scratch and so we can take an easy bang shot to win the game never give up guys and sometimes when i use too much of backspin as a result i do open the black but this was definitely too much use of backspin so this is how i record and learn from my videos and I just don't leave, so you can see the Archangel Q, level 223, missing an easy shot, and so we getting an easy victory. This time I managed to open both purple and orange, but we are stuck on the black. So I go for a cushion first, difficult, left side spin, bank shot. And now my opponent, level 184 again, messing up on the last yellow, and is going for a some sort of a crazy shot, and he just left. No easy black, so we go for an easy bank shot, and we finish the game. This time I had no good angle, so we went for a simple bank shot, but the cue ball control was important, that's why I didn't add any spin whatsoever, because I knew that the force is going to help me drag the white ball back to the black. Again, the black is only available into the top right side pocket. We take an easy bank shot. This time I selected the wrong side of the spin. I should have selected the right side of the spin instead of the left side. And that would have helped me not to snooker myself. But never mind, we got lucky, he missed an easy combo shot, so we finished the game. A level 30 opponent is a snooker and plays a nice combo shot, cushion first and makes it out. But still he's stuck on the red, on his way back by pulling the red, the black goes in front of him. What a lucky game for him and what an unlucky game for us. This time I found his heart and he says that you can win now. So I thought okay he's gonna give me a win I'm not sure but he's telling me you can win now a lot of times so I mess up a double combo shot and he just puts the white ball. So I thought okay he's gonna get, let me win but then I play a stupid shot and we scratch but lucky for us he is an amazing guy. I did post on my social media, but I didn't find him. Too much right side spin and we made a bad contact with the orange and we scratched. But lucky for us, Gary got a slip of a finger. This happens a lot when you're trying to put more power and sometimes you slip a finger and you don't put more power to it and instead you give a ball in hand to your opponents. Solids are around the middle of the table so you kind of have to be very careful not to go behind the stripes and snooker ourselves. Combo shot into the middle pocket which is never easy. That was silly, says David, and you can see that the green is a problem, so I use my green to remove his green to make sure we have a nice easy black to finish the game.
this time Hamza is actually I don't know what was his plan but I wanted to actually pot the green and I didn't manage to pot the green but this time he played a weird shot I don't know what was he thinking but he just gave us an easy shot on the black to finish the game This time I went for a combo shot using the top right side of spin we messed up but even my opponent missing it up and giving us a ball in hand. Again, we are taking a risky bank shot using the back spin because I don't know where the white ball is going to end up. Ahmed does a nice break but doesn't manage to pot anything. So we have a nice chance, open table, the black does pot into the top right side pocket, so we are good to go. And last ball is the orange with a bit of a back spin to make a stun shot. Unlucky for him, look where the green is stopped. And he, he might have used too much back spin and that was the problem. Lucky for us again our opponent missing it up but on the green I used the right side spin to avoid the corner pocket but we messed up. This time we are stuck on the last green. There is no other chance to go but to play a combo shot using one of my opponent's stripe ball. The problem is the 9 ball might go into the 8 ball which might become a problem but still we managed to make it into the middle center pocket and also the black is easily available. This time I just wanted the cue ball to go to the right side of the table but because of that high force, high power, we didn't manage to pot and our opponent got a nice bank shot. I was stuck on the black and my opponent managed to mess that up and give us a nice one. This was a yellow shot. We managed to pot the green and we got an easy black. So I'll take it. Nice try by Lewis, but he's missing up a bank shot and we getting an easy victory. So lots of the games that I won were actually given to me by my opponents missing up an easy shots or difficult shots. So this red was very, very difficult but I somehow managed to make it to the top left pocket. And the very next shot, my opponent missing up an easy blue. And again, like I said, I got lots of wins from my opponents missing easy shots. Now this shot is I'm not proud of. Uh, I should have used a little bit of back spin and a slow shot that would have stopped the cue ball but somehow i was very very lucky to make it to with that kind of spin shot so sometimes i do make lots of mistakes and that's why i record them and i watch them again to find out exactly what went wrong and how could i have prevented that from going wrong and learning from my mistakes So I thought the game is over, but level 20 missing up a easy stripe and giving us again another victory. Now we have to work around our way for a cluster to open all the solids. The yellow ball might become a problem and now I have no choice but to use a backspin and go full power yellow shot and we managed to not op only open the yellow but pot it and easy black to finish the game. And this time we were not so lucky. We managed to open the black and pot it at the same time, which is very, very bad. This time we're gonna have to do something to open the cluster. We did open the cluster. The stripes are all out. The black is easy. 
just need good positional shots, easy black to finish the game. Nice positional shot by Carlos. Level 235, you expect nothing less from such high level to play an amazing shot. Now you can see the orange is only available into the left bottom pocket. So we're gonna have to use a bank shot and play a good positional shot to take the white ball above the orange. And that was the only possible way I could have think of at that time. I might have been able to play a normal shot and use a top spin but we managed to play with this ex extreme nice positional shot. Because the ma main role is to pot the black and win the game. It's not like you have to pot. Sometimes, again, this was a combo shot. And because of that combo shot, we managed to win it. I think he's also one of my subscribers. We just opened the red. Lucky that we clipped the black so that we can easily pot the last orange and after that black. This time I wanted to be in the middle of the table for potting orange. But now we play a bank shot to recover from that and now we can easily pot orange and the last black to again win a nice 2048 points and look that white ball where it stopped we were extremely lucky again a bank shot to get a nice position well not a nice position on the black but it's an easy position to make a bank shot and win it so all this time, all the gameplays with my subscribers, with indirect gameplays have helped me win lots of games and lots of difficult blacks in this tournament. I was absolutely stunned when I missed that orange. I didn't see that coming. But lucky for us, again, my opponent scratching and giving us a nice easy win. This time, only I could have seen purple is going double bank shot and a natural angle to go onto the black. This time I was stuck, I didn't know what to do, so I just used a top spin and I hope that I'm gonna make a contact with the orange and take the orange down into the bottom left pocket. Look at the shot again. This was well thought out and this was the only thing available for me. And look at the top spin start to work on after it make first contact with the orange. And this was an amazing shot. Doing it in front of a level 2 or 6, 2 or 5 high level player, it's amazing. And it does let him know that yes, I have a little bit of something called the skill and not all luck. So in this event, I was extremely lucky and a few good shots that you guys have seen. So in the end, I'm just going to leave you by watching, like to watch two weird games. And there's not a commentary on that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Peace out. I'm gonna throw my memories away. Now I feel I'm done. And I
I'm cursed by every day Till my time is gone I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget you last betray I'll never forget this day